as that dish did look just now in the kitchen, so too was Cape Town's Greenpoint Stadium yesterday as the Mother City played host to a memorial concert that stirred the centres in a true fitting send-off to the father of our beloved uh, Rainbow Nation, Utata Nelson Kholisasa Madiba Mandela. Now, we have a guest with us in the studio who was actually there to experience what Madiba magic can do in uniting people. But before we speak to her, let's take a look at what went down at Greenpoint Stadium. Cape Town showed its appreciation for Madiba the best way it knew how, through song and dance. Thousands of people descended on the stadium in Greenpoint to honour Madiba. Those who came swayed to the rhythm of a common tune, filled with joyous gratitude for everything he gave them. The freedom to join together in peace and harmony in the knowledge that without his struggle, they would not be here today as one people. The atmosphere was a mixture of carnival and requiem, vivid seas of people expressing their gratitude and grief with music, stirring gospel choirs and soaring speeches with heartfelt outpourings of emotion. This was the send-off Mandela deserved. It's a memorial to give uh, thanks to the father of our nation. Without Mandela, I wouldn't be a, a mixed race. I mean, he brought the races together. Because, I mean, he saved us. It's a great day consigner. What people expected him to do when he came out of jail, everyone expected revenge, everyone expected war. He was a healer, but uh, it's the forgiveness. I think Madiba is a uniting factor. Because he's been a great example. He was a great leader. All that I sort of look up to. And the idea is that, you know, we've got to be united. I have come to celebrate this great man. And just having to see everyone come together, uniting, saying thank you for what this man has done. He fight it for us. He fight it for freedom. And he treated everybody the same. You should never be um, judged according to the color of your skin. But Diva told me not to be racist. He did us to be kind and loving one another. He worked for unification. A great healer. A man told with wisdom. A man that has vision, like Mandela, and a love, a passion for his country and his people, like he had. Ultimately, without a lot of what he did and a lot of our other leaders hadn't have done, this wouldn't be possible. I wouldn't even be standing here. We became <laughs> sisters. And that's the greatest gift. And we love each other. Yeah. So thank you, Mandela. Thank you. I'm here because of you. No one can forget Madiba's contribution to the 95 Rugby World Cup. And Francois Pino thanked Madiba for unifying the country through sport. Late in the afternoon of the 24th of June 1995, a nation celebrated like never before. In the true spirit of Ubuntu, for the first time ever, we were world champions together. I will never forget how proud Madiba was and his beautiful smile. We are a nation alive with possibility. One man was filled with so much gratitude for the father of our rainbow nation that he tattooed a picture of Madiba on his chest. Renowned artists took to the stage and roused the crowds into a fervor, with the likes of Freshly Ground, Lady Smith, Black Mombazo, and other artists praising him with all their hearts could muster. The Cape Town Memorial Concert marks a milestone in the history of our country, beautifully poetic, stirring, and ultimately the kind of celebration that Madiba would have wanted.